All right, so we are getting ready to play Mission 10 for Hamtagri, and we're flying to Rotterdam. Now, before I get into the crew and takeoff procedures, I do want to show a few different things. So first of all, I picked up an actual uh, die-cast B-17, and I think its scale is, I want to say 148, which seems almost identical to the scale of the plane that is depicted. Now, because of the angle of the camera, hopefully I get it right, I've got to do it like that. I don't know if I'm going to keep using this, but I wanted to have it present because, let me scroll over and show a few other additions. Is there some ME 110s? There are some FW 190s, and I'm going to zoom in on that, or I may throw a picture in, because from the game, which I'm inserting the title of now, because I can't remember, remember it right now, I can show high, medium, and low attacks. I also have some BF 109s. You'll see a slightly bigger FW 190 here. He's going to be my ace whenever there's an FW 190 ace. You'll see a Wings of War right here, BF-109. It actually has a broken left tailplane, so I got him cheap, but he'll be my ace, and he matches the scale. I think it's 1-200 with these guys. That guy's a little bit bigger. Um, and then you will see, just for fun, I've had this 109 for a while, and... I picked up a P-47 of the era, and what came with that F-190, F-190, FW-190, was a Spitfire. So I figured, okay, I can show um, what our air cover will be, and maybe I'll roll to see if it's Spitfire or 47s. So we're going to be using these guys instead of the plane cards. All right, let's go wheels up. So we have Brent Campbell as our pilot. He's been doing fabulous, and he is fully supported by Ron Nicholson, the co-pilot. Occasionally, there may be some decisions that I will roll for them that are not typical for the game. So dropping out of formation, different things. We'll see. That may or may not come up. Brian Sweet is our bombardier. And well, I was going to say, hopefully, never mind. I'll leave it alone because I'll jinx it. 11th mission brings in some bonuses. Whoop, whoop. David Hassel is our navigator. Bjorn is still our top turret and our engineer. Xanth is our crack shot radio operator. Also has gotten himself a uh, distinguished service cross, or is it a DFC, distinguished flying cross? Sorry. We have uh, Bay is our ball gunner. Uh, HP, Hans Bach, but likes to go by HP, is in our port waist. Kevin, our starboard waist gunner, and brand new is Ian McCluskey. So Ian will be flying with us in the tail for the first time. And I've got it on very good authority that Ian also loves to take passing shots. So when a uh, 190 comes screaming through, boom, Ian will be taking shots at them as they go. So coming in, we will set first on G4. We will roll two dice and see if we are going to be lead or not. Seven, solidly in the middle. And then we will roll one die to see if we are high, middle, low. Five, slightly cocked, but we will keep it as low. So we will be middle and low. And low means we will be adding plus one to the Gazette. And you'll say the Gazette, well, what is that? Well, the Gazette is a list of basically the odds of a, of a flight or a stoffel coming at us from the Germans. So I've got to find Rotterdam, boom, it's a minus two, minus one, and a zero. But we'll add a plus one to all of those. And then you can see we'll be over water, water, and then a little bit of water, and the Netherlands. Of course, Rotterdam's a famous deep water port. So that will make us actually a minus one, a zero, and a plus one to the sorties, or against Stoffels, that'll be coming against us. 
our fighter cover for zone two. We'll go ahead and roll for right now. It's G5 here, so we're hoping we will get a five or six. I'll try to keep that on screen. That is a one. So we will have poor fighter cover in zone two. Now, a couple other points I'm just going to uh, talk about. One, I'm going to break these videos probably into 25-minute segments. Um, I'm just hearing some people don't want to tune in for a full hour, so I'm going to try to chop them up. It'll still be Mission 10, but it'll be 10-1, 10-2, 10-3, and we'll see how that works just to try something a little different, see if it'll entice some people to come in. We'll see. Still playing around with this. And of course, the crew members do make up. The crew members of this B-17 are my Patreon crew members as well. If uh, you want to be on the roster to fill in when uh, we take casualties, sadly that will happen. Please come join me at Patreon. Go look up Bonding with Board Games. Let's get to it. All right, the interesting thing will be rolling on the board with this actual B-17 present. We'll see if it gets in the way. I may end up pulling it off and he'll just sit off to the side. But for this mission, let's give it a go and we will see. All right, wheels up. Um, the basic B-17, Queen of the Skies. We're not having any kind of formation hookups or anything like that. And uh, we're in zone one. We're linking up. Engines are all good. Checks are good. And we will be flying into, let me bring the map on. I love having a map. I got uh, Target for today, and they don't include a map like this. Um, the game still looks awesome, but I like seeing visually where I'm headed. So we're headed into Zone 2. We are definitely leaving friendly territory. And we're going to come over and roll... Let me get the right page. Come on, beige. So we're going to roll right here. We're not in our target zone, so we're hoping to get a one or a two. We got a five minus one, which is uh, going to be the exact same result. All right, that'll just give us a four. We're going to have one sortie coming at us. So let me roll on here. And hey, I will take that. We don't get a lot of 56s or 6s at the end. A 56 at the end here means that other B-17s have uh, scared those guys off. So let me mark it. And that is a perfect time to get a pass because uh, our fighter cover is poor. So we either don't have enough or who knows what's going on. By the way, let's see if there's Spitfires or P-47s. Um, odds will be Spitfires. It is a two. So we will be supported by some P-47s on this flight. The Jug. Now I've painted all these guys up, or more accurately, had a buddy of mine paint all them up. Had them painted up, have acquired them. I would sure love to see them come on, but not to the detriment of ham taggery, not to the detriment of ham taggery. We fly into zone two. There is zero modifiers in zone two as we move towards Rotterdam. So again, I'll pull the map on. Whoa, as I lose, wow, we flew deep. So our zone two, Rotterdam is going to be coming into sight soon. And you can see how much open ocean we're covering. So again, we're going to roll. This is in a non-target zone. So we want a one or a two, no modifier, six. Wow. All right, six means we're going to have two sorties coming at us. So I'll get that hope to see these new uh, planes coming in. These new German planes that have been painted up. Let's see what the first one is. 24. Boy, I sure am more limited in rolling. Again, I don't know how long that, that's going to stay there. We'll see. 24. All right. Let's see what the next one is. I like that both of them in. I know probably shouldn't roll both, but we'll see if it'll help keep me on track. And I think I forgot one of my, or the sorties last time. I'm going to mark them with a line once they're resolved or something. Woo! 66 is random events. All right, 
We will come back and resolve that after flight 24, which is 4109s. Let's get these on air. 4109s, 12 high, 3 high. So 12 high, and I'm going to adjust that in a second. 3 high, meaning they're coming down from height. We'll see how this works. Boy, you know what? I'm going to remove the B-17 right now because it is kind of too tall. And it's getting in the way. Yeah, this is better. These guys are diving down. They're diving down. I like it. All right, what are we at? 24. Four 109s, 12 high, 3 high, 9 high, 9 level. So we have a 9 high. Boom, these guys are all screaming down. And we have a 9 level. Normally that sits half on, half off. I'm going to bring it just off because we have the advantage of the stand helping us out here as well. You guys, let me know how that looks on your end. I know you're not live, but put it in the comments. Looks pretty good in person. I would definitely be doing this even if I wasn't filming. But, oh boy, I want to take a peek. All right, I'm going to take a peek at the camera. I can't really see it when I'm sitting down. Okay, I think it looks better in person. Looks a lot more alive in 3D, but who knows? Maybe you guys will enjoy it as well. You know what I didn't do is roll for our fighter cover. Now I've got more room to roll in. That's a plus. I got a four, which means it's going to be fair. So with fair fighter coverage, we're going to come in. I'll roll the second one, and we'll see how good we are with this fair fighter coverage. A four. Now this will stick. I'm going to put a four inside the little area on my reference sheet. All right, and a four scares off in fair. It's going to scare off one, one of these 190s. Oh, you know what? We do have the chance. Um, let's see if they're scared off first, and then I'll also check for aces. So one of them is scared off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three. All right, he's no longer screaming in from the nose. Um, boy, I almost wish I would have kept that one. Uh, that's a lot of guys coming in from the sides that I can't deal with all at the same time. All right, let's see if we have an ace status. So two or three is green. 11 to 12 is ace. And if we get an ace, we'll bring on, well, holy moly, we sure did. So I was just rolling around this way. So this guy is now an ace. So let's bring in this other 109 to show ace level skill. And he's a little bit smaller, I know. And we're going to see if he's an ace, and he's not. All right, so that'll also help me do it without having to keep track with the chits. Obviously, both of our port uh, or our waste guns can get into action. HP, I'm going to just throw them on like so since I don't have the card anymore. Let's see, HP will be doing this, and HP is going to throw some spray fire out there. Uh, the ball turret, uh, he's going to, he can only see this guy coming in level. So he's going to be on him. Um, top turret, oh my goodness. We will just put the top turret, I think we may even do it randomly. I kind of want to throw it on the, well, who knows. Let's get, uh, why do I have port cheek in there? You guys were screaming. So that's not HP. It's Andrew. All right, come on, my stuff's all messed up. All right, boom. We don't have a tail firing on this one. Um, let's see, for the top gun, for Bjorn, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six it is. So the top turret will be firing over here. And um, Kevin on our starboard waist is also gonna do a spray fire. And I'm looking around, I don't have another spray fire. There I do. I sure do. They're way over here. Why did I put them way over there? We got a spray fire over here, a starboard waste. All right, let's check with HP first. So a six is still a hit with spray fire, but if he ends up picking up a four or a two, he's basically put out so many rounds, he scares them off. Uh, a one, sorry, dropped it on the side of the table here. A one will be a jam. 
three. Well, that's terrible. He attacks normally, other than I've got to mark off three rounds of ammo coming off of HP's guns. All right, so this fellow's coming in from height with no problem. Ball turret, and he's an ace. Going to make him a little bit harder to hit. Normally, in order to hit him, all I would need would be a five or a six. But because he's an ace, it's now going to require a six. Woo! That is what I'm talking about. Bay still pulls a hit. And we're going to roll right now. He's got twin guns, so he gets a plus one. And if he can get a four, five, or six, he's going to blow the wing off of this guy. Oh, Lord. Knocks the wing right off. Sends the ace down. Way to go. And I'm messing with my stand. Way to go. Bay. Bay takes down an ace. Look at that. Nice. Let me mark this down. Well, that'll help out a lot. Now, let's see. Uh, let's again. Uh, let's again. Hold on. Now I dropped dice on the ground. Got it. Let's see if Kevin's spray fire is going to work. Come on, six. Four. Four is good enough to cause him to break off. He sprayed a whole bunch. But it worked. It worked. Way to go, Kevin. But since we're dealing with real time here and the top turret was firing, top turret needs a five or a six. Gets a five, twin guns, four, five, or six. Whoo-wee. Look at that. No wonder he broke off. He starts peeling out of there. Then Bjorn nails him. Hello, we got a 109. That, hopefully, will set the stage for us. Well, be quiet. Quit talking. I always say things and they seem to happen. So I'm going to hush my mouth. Gone. Gone. All right. Coming in from up high, from 9 o'clock high, all he needs to hit us is a 4, 5, or 6. Well, he hits us too. Let's see how many shell hits we're going to get. So we peel over to our beige under B4. That's perfect. Seven at nine o'clock high is just going to be one shell hit. So nine high. We're on the flip side. Let's just see what we get. Oh, are you kidding me? That is walking hits. A. Hey, come on, man. Come on. All right. Putting it down on the sheet. Gosh darn it. We had one hit coming our way. And I've got to go down and look at walking hits A. Okay, uh, this is the one where at least they're staying off the wings. We're going to do one hit. So normally you would ignore all other hits. There were none. Ugh. Nose, pilot, Bombay, radio room. Do not like that Bombay. Waist and tail. We're going to take a hit down the length of our fuselage. And I'm going to walk it down just like uh, they've got on here. He must have worked down right from the nose and brought her down. So one hit to each ends up being the equivalent of six hits. Gosh darn it. All right, let's walk through these one at a time. Nose, five, six, seven. Superficial damage. Nose is out of the way. Pilot compartment. All right, here we go. Eight. Eight in the pilot compartment. Ah, top turret. Top turret. We got a few options here. A few options. Top turret. One die. Two is guns inoperable. Holy moly. Well, that's better than taking a wound check. Uh, okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get these guns out. So while, while he's lighting up uh, three o'clock, He's taking fire from the opposite side, and the guns get all locked up. Get these recorded. Top guns out. <whistles> Just for a reminder, let me pull my top turret gun and out. Goodness gracious. Okay, well, we're rolling around to the bomb bay. Ah, four. That's better than 11. <laughs> or... Nine. Okay. Or three. My goodness. I forget how many times the bombs can come up here. 
Uh, don't forget, uh, because of the uh, Patreon supporters coming on uh, this whole 25 mission, uh, we will be uh, getting an extra re-roll, one extra rabbit's foot, basically. And I have not forgotten, we will be rolling on the random events. But what does four say? Four says rubber rafts. If plane lands and water roll on G10 minus two, the rubber rafts have been shot all to heck. All right, let me come in and get this. Do I have them on my little thing here? I do. All right, so I'm printed off a sheet from BGG that has just checkbox. Keeps you moving a little bit quicker. And boom, minus two if we land in water. Of course, this means our uh, 109 is going to make a successive attack. And let's see where he comes back in. Uh, nine. Going to be rolling back in at 12 level. So we're going to pitch this here. We're going to bring him in 12 level. Let's pull that spray fire off. Um, we're going to have just the nose gun coming in on this one. Normally, the uh, top turret could join in. But no. We've lost it. Um, there was no passing shot. There will be one this time. And we'll see if old uh, Ian McCluskey will get a passing shot as he comes around. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it is simply the nose gun firing here. However, sweet has a nice touch. I feel it, sweet. I feel it. Oh, no. All right, let's see if he gets hit on us. He needs a five or six. Whoo, he misses. He's coming around, Ian. All right, sweet calls him through. You pick him up and... Needs a six, does not get it, but good shot. Good try at the passing shot. He swings on through, leaves, and will not come back. Whoo! Let's go check our random events. I've got to go into the actual manual for that. If memory serves in the general, there might have been an updated random events as well that had a whole lot more stuff in it. But who, who knows? We're not dealing with that now. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Sounds like we're getting ready to dance. Tight formation. Hello. See results of number six above. Roll to determine enemy fighter waves in zones on table B1 or B2 is minus one. Excellent. So we have tightened up our formation, which means we're going to get to adjust things back. Uh, to where they would have been originally. I like it. So now when we roll into the target zone, we're going to have a zero, and on our way back, we'll have a minus one and three and a minus two and two. <laughs> like it. All right, speaking of that, we are headed into our target zone. Rotterdam is right there. And we are in it. Now, we're going to have to stay in it, turn around after the bombs drop. You guys know me. Once the bombs have left the plane, a bunch of hazards go along with those bombs. So, first thing we got to do is uh, see how many waves are coming at us. We've got zero modifiers. That's not all that good. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. That's two sorties still coming our way. Uh, at least we didn't have the plus one. We would add three coming our way. So let's see what they are. The first one is going to be 31. That's a small number on that back end. That is good. What will that be? That is a 110 on a vertical climb E. Sweet. We get to bring in our 110. He is screaming up. Hopefully that looks cool. Looks very cool from here. Love it. I'm digging that. Let's see what the second flight is. 22. Again, a fairly low number. Dinging it. That'll be your second. What is it? Oh, a couple more 110s. 12 low, 1030 low. So we'll get to see some more of the tan. Now, clearly, they just came over from Africa. They haven't been repainted yet. I like how they stand out and look a little bit different. I know most of them were that kind of that light gray color, but hey, these haven't been repainted. All right, let's get back on focus. 
Um, and if I remember, come on, what was the, only the ball turret may fire at this fighter. Got to get a three or six, and it can be driven off by fighter cover. Let's see what kind of fighter cover we've got coming in here. Fighter cover is, oh, fighter cover is going to be good. I'll take it any day of the week. Let's see what it's going to be for this round. Five. That is excellent. And it does get rid of this 110. He can't get through the fighter cover. We have some P47s that are shielding us pretty good, even in Rotterdam. So let's bring on, I shouldn't have moved that 110 out of the way because I got to go back and see where they're coming at us from. What was it? 22, two 110s, 12 low, 10 30 low, 12 low, hello, 12 low, coming on up, and 10 30 low. The 110s had a real hard time getting up the altitude. So you're going to see a lot of times they're coming up. Wow, that boy is heavy. He wants to tip. All right, let's see if we got any aces here first. We'll roll. Well, I should see if they're scared off. Yeah, let's, oh wait, no, five. We know they're scared off. You gotta remember that roll is good for the entire round. And on good fighter coverage, a roll of five gets rid of three of them. We don't even see these fellas coming in, but don't they look good? Don't they look good? Boom, 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 boom. All right, good thing is we're headed up for a flak run right before Sweet is gonna drop these planes. All right, let's see. We're hoping for a one here. Four. Four is not good. Um, medium flak. Medium flak, we're rolling on this middle chart here where you can see a seven ends up being a hit. Of course, the odds of rolling a seven with two six-sided dice, pretty high. Three rolls. Five, six. That is a miss. Blue. What is this? An 11 actually is a miss. Nice. One more. And five is a miss as well. Only two, three would have been a hit. And 12 a hit, and then seven a hit. Nice. I actually thought that 11 was going to be a hit as well. All right, sweet. You've been solid. You've had just a couple times with some bad weather. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to check our weather over the target. So we're going to switch over to that now, and we're going to get our weather. Sorry, switch over. It's right on where I'm at. So weather over the target zone. We want a 4 through 10. 5, perfect. We have good weather. All right, it's all looking good, sweet. We are on. Oh, wait, i got to roll to see if we're on target. All right, we want to get a uh, 3 or better. 3 or better. Dang it, dang it. Sweet is off target. We go to percentile die. Percentile? It's not percentile die. It's two through 12. Five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be off target with a zero. That is all right. That is all right. Let me go record our zero flak hits. Our bomb run. We had no modifier, but zero percent on target. That is all right. Sweet, you've been away from it as long as I've been away from playing the game. Let's give it a pause. We will be right back.